Hello, my name is Reverend Wagner da Costa, and I would you like to welcome you to the Milton Blessing Time. It is a program that will give you a word of a bless, a word of a hope for the day that we live in. So uh, today I would you like to share a little part of a scripture that say in uh, Hebrew, it is especially uh, on a chapter, the number 12, who says, and the, and the verse one, wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of a witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which those so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, Look into Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, the, the despising the shame, and a sat down at the right hand of the throne of a God. <clears throat> uh, in this in this scripture, what I see, I, I think is it's very important because you know. Tell me, uh, who does not have a problem on this day? Everybody has a problem. <laughs> but would you like to let you know also, even though if you have a problem, you may have a hope. This depends on the way you see, depends on the way you look into the situation. So right here, saying that wherefore seeing we also compass about so great a cloud of a witness so <clears throat> when i see this cloud of a witness you know what to bring my attention bring my attention to example uh it's it's a, for a runner it is very nice to run but if you run with somebody cheering for you come on go go keep going you can do it you can do it it help you in a lot i remember i was in boston in 1990 and there is a Boston Marathon and I was I was watching I was not so far from the crossing line and and they you know what I saw I saw so many so many people who was running that Boston Marathon but they were tired they were about very close to finish line, but they were about to give up and I remember <laughs> I, 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 I still remember in my mind that I was right beside the court and I was very close to them. You know what I did? When the people was passing to me, they were passing to me some, not everyone, but some was passing like that. You know, not running anymore. Now they just walk and looks like they are going to give up. When they passed by me, I came and I said, come on guy, what are you doing? You can go, you can do it, do it, run, run, run. And they, he looked at me and they started to run. <laughs> he started to run. I don't know if he was running because he was motivated by whatever I said oh, to try to flee away from me. But it doesn't matter anyway. Anyway, I motivate him to go faster. So, and I, I don't know, I'll be, I'll be very honest to you, that was the first and last time that I did something like that. But I, every time a runner passed by me in slow, I screamed to him, run, run, run. You can do it. You cross the finish line, cross the finish line. And they start and they're running again. And believe it, I never gonna forget. That's what I see right here when they say that we have a cloud of a witness on, a, on a chapter number 12. But if you look at the chapter number 11, you're going to see the hero of faith. That's what the Bible says that you're going you're gonna to find Noah, you're going to find Abraham, you're going to find Sarah, you're going to find Joseph, you're going to find so many people in every one of them. Had a problem, my good friend, that you are listening to me right now. 
for them to go to the gallery of a faith, for him to be hero of the faith, he crossed a great tribulation. So I'm talking to you who is listening to me right now, watching me right now, that if you cross in a very hard tribulation, that might be, there is something good for you, my friend. It is about is preparing you to the next level. How about Joseph? You know, and then, listen, maybe you right now is, might be a little bit tired. You want to, you run, but you are a little bit tired. A little bit tired. But this has a cloud of a witness. Who's the cloud of a witness? Let's let put this way, Joseph, that we can see that Joseph cross. And then Joseph may scream from, from the, 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 the cord and come to you and say, come on, run. I know you might be, have a problem with your brother like Joseph had. Maybe somebody make some kind of a comment about you like the wife of, a, of the, 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 the great man that was supposed to be a great man, Potiphar. You know, his wife, you know, try to, uh, to have a relation intimacy with jo Joseph, but Joseph didn't want to, he wanted to be faithful and he was, go he went to the jail because he was faithful. How would you like for you to, to, to listen to me right now? He went to the jail because he was faithful. But a Joseph right now could say to you, come on, somebody may, maybe has said something about you, but run. Run, run, I know what it is. I've been through this situation. I've been through that, but run, because I went to the palace, and you go to the palace too. Because of the jail, I went through the, through the palace. You know, you know where he found the position for the government, for the highest position after Pharaoh? He found this position inside of a jail when he talked about a dream so maybe on a problem right now but run don't stop don't let it, nobody stop you let, let me say something to you i don't know if you if you go if you went to the university i don't know if you are a lawyer or engineer no matter what you are but I, let, let me ask you something every great engineer every great lawyer has to have uh, time because they to cross the level to get the title he has to spend some time cross his, you know, his test. He went through test and a lot of a test for him to be a great lawyer, a great engineer, a great architect. Sometimes we want to have a great face, but we don't want to go through tribulation. And Joseph, it's watching you like a clown of witness say to you right now run don't stop no matter what people saying to you no matter what people saying to you maybe you like moses moses another hero moses it was was like he said there's no way out our pharaohs comes behind me there is a big red sea in front of me i don't know what to do god said don't worry in, 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 especially in your hard time and God said to you, what have in your hand, Moses? He said, oh God, I have only this, this piece of a stick. He said, that's good enough. Touch on the sea. And God opened up the way. You know what? Sometimes we have to go through hard tests to find God's way. I hope you've been blessed today by this word. We are surrounded by a clown of a witness, Sarah had a baby with a 90 years old. Nobody will believe it. How people will believe it? How, t tell me, how can the people will believe it? A man when 100 years old and the mother expecting a baby with <laughs> 90 years old. Can you imagine it? Sarah with a lot of a wrinkle, white, all gray hair, you know, his face for old woman, but with a belly so brand new. That's what God says. I don't care what people will say. I do good things, even though they think it's older. So 
the miracle you cannot explain. You have to live. But you might be crossing a hard situation right now. And I can't believe it. Abraham, who was the, another hero, as a witness, as a cloud of a witch, is screaming to you that you're running right now because now we run. But he ran before, and then he's going to say, I know what the people do not believe. I know what is that. I know. I know. People do not believe in me either. They, they, they laugh. They thought that I never could be a father. I know what it is. But look at my Isaac. Look Look, my Isaac is right here. So run. If the miracle happened to me, it's going to happen to you. That's the cloud of a witness. Joseph, Sarah, Moses, and so many other people. How about you? Are you crossing a hard tribulation? A problem? You've been through a test. I believe. And, and can you please... Um, I'm a, I'm a pastor and I'm a preacher and, and sometimes I have to hold myself because I am in front of a camera and I have to hold myself. But listen to me, there is a blessing time for you, your family, your financial. Don't forget, there is a blessing time for you. Renew a way to think and read the Bible say, hey, if a Joseph went through that hard situation, he was being trained by his brother, he was being uh, uh, set up by Pharaoh, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, from, from Potiphar's wife, because he was faithful, he went to the jail, but after jail, he went to the palace. Hold on, hold tight. And I'm going to say to you, like I said to the run of the Boston Marathon, don't stop. Run, 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 because you are about to cross the finish of life. May God bless you richly. It's your time for blessing. It is your blessing time.